All right, tonight we are going to teach you how to make a homemade heart protector that will stop bullets, most caliber bullets, mainly low caliber bullets. So, first of all, here's how you do it. You go to Walmart or Academy, any one of those like uh, sporting good places with guns and stuff. You buy this uh, $3 to $5 pellet pouch. It holds your pellets, put it right there, you know, and you put pellets in it. So what you want to do is you want to take this old empty, you know, pellet or BB canister, put it right there. Put it right there in there, close it up, and you put it in like a pocket right there. And if you ever get shot in the heart, you're pretty much good. Anything, I, I'm sure it'll probably stop a 22 pistol, anything up to that. But for safety, we're gonna use, uh, you know, pellet guns. And uh, if whatever caliber pellet this happens to stop, I'm gonna wear it and be shot with that caliber pellet and uh, just to prove that I'm not a loser. So we're gonna put it in this pocket right here. And it's not, it's not the pocket that goes over the heart. It goes over your uh, right chest area, your right lung. And uh, we're just going to shoot it like that. But this is only a test. I'm not wearing it just yet. And this is mainly for uh, coats. And then we're going to bring it all the way out here. And uh, I guess we'll set it right here on the street. Right there. There it is. All right, so let's go get our gun loaded. All right, so tonight we're going to use this Winchester model air rifle, which belongs to my friend. Thank you for letting me use it. Uh, we're going to use these Crossman 177 caliber pellets, and then we're going to use uh, another kind of a Daisy uh, cal uh, 177 caliber pellets. But the Daisy, they're like you know cheap one dollar pellets that smush really easy. We're going to use these and these, and you know see which ones are more and less effective, but right now we're going to try the crossman pellets, and uh, let's get right to that. For this test, we're going to stimulate it at point blank range. Alright, let's open it. Alright, so we had a good shot right there. And there's our entry room, uh, our supposed entry room. Let's uh, check the other side, make sure it didn't go all the way through. Oh, it did go through. See, our problem was we missed the can. Oh, no, we did. We hit the can. Oh, my gosh. How much FPS does this gun have? Um, well, it depends on what kind of uh, pellets. Uh, we know a little homemade trick where we can put WD-40 in the pellets, and it will increase the velocity by so much. It is incredible. Because, say, you buy a pellet rifle that has the velocity of, you know, say, the velocity is, like, 1,600, which is totally unrealistic because that's, like, uh, something like a 9 millimeter. which like you, extreme air gun hunting. Uh, I mean you know for real guns handguns too and uh, it'll boost it up by so much because what happens is it lubricates the pellet and the more times you shoot it, it lubricates the pellets and the barrel so it basically just flings them out you know much faster than they need to go but I, we were using oil pellets for this and it went straight through